Hello, pain stream. How are you doing? I'm having a good day. I'm, uh, things are good. Things are really good. I hope they're good for you too. Um, you know, it's, it's really how you look at it. My friend said, um, someone said something to her. And, um, well, it was just someone that she was interested in and there was a rift and um, he sent a kiss emoji and um, just out of the blue. And she said, oh yeah, I mean, I guess that was nice. It was, didn't take much effort, but you know, seems a little manipulative. And I said, well, that's really your perspective because it could be seen as manipulative. I mean, everything we do can be seen as manipulative, right? I mean, where we do things to get the things that we want. And if someone wants a relationship with you, that could be manipulative, but it also could be making an effort. And it's just the word you put on it or the perspective you have that, um, I mean, leadership can be manipulative. Everything can be manipulative. People don't do things that don't eventually get them what they want. And it doesn't mean it has to be a material thing or this relationship or that. It could be, you know, some kind of like narcissistic supply or um, there's some need that's being filled. So we don't do things typically that doesn't, maybe the Dalai Lama, I don't know, but um, most of us do things because it gets us what we want. So, and that can all be defined as manipulative. But, um, yeah. So your perspective on how your day is, is really up to you. Hmm. Here we go. The soul can split the sky in two and let the face of God shine through. Edna St. Vincent Millay, M-I-L-L-A-Y. If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for a man to gain the whole world, yet forfeit his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Mark 8, 34 to 37. Sitting down, Jesus called the twelve and said, If anyone wants to be first, he must be the very last and the servant of all. Mark 9, 35. Whoever welcomes one of these little children in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me does not welcome me, but the one who sent me. Mark 9, 37. But at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let men not separate. Mark 10, six to nine. Yeah. Does that ever happen? Not really. So many mama's boys. So many mama's boys. And, um, you know, I mean, women aren't perfect either, for sure. Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Mark 10, 14 to 16. Little child. I don't know. Um, I believe in the sun. Oh, this is so good. Oh my God, no. Yeah, this is a hard one. I believe in the sun, even if it isn't shining. I believe in love, even when I am alone. I believe in God, even when he is silent. And that was written, I got chills on a cellar wall in Cologne, Germany, where Jews hid during World War II. I can't even. That's like insane to me. 
I believe in the sun even when it isn't shining. I believe in love even when I am alone. I believe in God even when he is silent. There's a movie about um, Tony Robbins and one of the women that he helped who um, she raised her hand and said she wanted to commit suicide. Um, she was raised in some cult in South America that um, where she was raped as a child. And um, all the, everybody was raped, the whole family. They raped each other, the, the head, just rape, rape, rape. And because um, this was the way. This is what Jesus wanted. And um, she was only like five. And she realized this is not love. This is not right. I believe in love, even though I've never seen it. And at the age of nine, I believe, she was able to escape and convince some of her family to escape and eventually got them all out. But of course she's destroyed. Um, but there's a beautiful happy ending for her. So if you see, I mean, it's, it's a recent movie that was um, about Tony Robbins and it, I think it was the first cameras that were allowed um, into one of his retreats or something. Amazingly moving. Highly recommend it. All right, have a great night. Peace out.